Please help settle an argument. Is the thumb a finger? My girlfriend insists that the thumb is not a finger, and I insist that it is a finger, and we just call it a thumb. Everyone knows we have ten fingers and ten toes, right? Yes, it's a finger. I knew you were going to say that, and I know exactly what logic it's based on, and I agree. But do you want to spell but? it out further? Oh, no, there's no but. I thought you were going no. to somehow disagree. No, no, I, I, I <clears throat> just, I agree that this is a very uh, straightforward answer, and usually yeah. so. Well, okay, maybe we, we should be moving faster rather than slower, but um, to the degree that thumb and finger are human-made categories, you could argue that uh, a hand is made up of a thumb and four fingers. To the degree that these things on our hands that are digits are inherited from a most recent common ancestor, um, they are all digits. They're all made of phalanges. They all have uh, comparable developmental uh, trajectories and genes encoding for them. And yes, the thumb can can do this opposable thing with the pinky, um, but that's more about the attachment point down in the carpals, metacarpals space near the wrist um, than about anything different about the digits. So they're all all digits. They're all uh, phalanges, just like the toes are, um, but the one has a particular functionality that the others don't. On the other hand, you can do things with all of your fingers that you probably can't do with any of them. So this is a nested set issue, right? Yes. Fingers and toes are all digits, mm -hmm. and thumb is a subset of finger, which is a subset of digit. Yeah, that's um, right. Um, so. And I mean, so, and maybe, maybe one more way to go at it is um, maybe only because of the naming convention, because of the categories that we use, and I don't know if this is the same in every other language out there, but we don't call our biggest toe not a toe. Like no one is under the impression that there's like a big toe and then four toes on a foot. It's like you have five toes and then some people will say, well, you have a thumb and four fingers. Well, that's only because we have lost the prehensility. Is that a word? No, it is. The prehensility <laughs> of our big toes. Chimps have prehensile big toes, and you know they're they're climbers more than we are. You don't mean prehensile. Oh, I, I'm you sorry, not prehensile, opposable. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so I invented a word for entirely the wrong context. I have to I have to retract that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we've lost the the opposability of our big toes because we're mostly walking on flat land, and it actually is is uh, we have better grip uh, when we have flatter feet without a opposable big toe. Um, and as such, because it looks more like the other digits, we don't give it a special name. We just give it like an adjective description to go with toe. And we could just as well have done the same thing with finger. So this is just like, it's a linguistic confusion because of the, because of the naming categories we've given it, not, but the actual nested set is a big toe is a toe, a thumb is a finger, and they're all digits. Yep. I, I think that's right. And uh, the number of puns that you could wield mercilessly in this challenge to your girlfriend is many, mm -hmm. and I suggest that you show no mercy because you are in fact correct that the thumb is a finger. No mercy. None. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay.